Another problem was uh, nickel and chrome plating. The problem was two reasons. Because of two reasons, uh, I was afraid to give it out. If I give it out, they either grind up too much of it, or they lose it. And uh, to find another part for a 70 or 80 year old motorcycle, it's a lot of money and a lot of work. From rusty pieces like these, a pro shop takes off so much that it becomes shiny and useless at the end. So I decided to do this at home. Make the setup for myself. I bought all the stuff. I found a used uh, power supply for 25 amps and learned to nickel and chrome plate by myself. The first bucket is uh, flesh copper. The second bucket is acid copper. The third bucket is nickel. And the fourth bucket is chrome. To remind myself what to do, I posted the procedure over each bucket. On the right hand side is the uh, degreaser. After each procedure, between each procedure, you have to uh, rinse it with uh, distilled water and if the distilled water runs uh, bubbles on the uh, on the part it has to go back to the degrease degreaser until it's completely free from grease i started uh, with sandblasting all pieces after the flash copper i kept uh, putting it into the acid copper to fill the pitted part. Between copper bath, I hand sand it down to bare metal before putting it back again. This setup allowed me to turn the part 90 degrees all around to, for easier uh, hand sanding. After the last copper bath, it uh, was sanded down and uh, buffed to mirror shine. Now I know why chrome plating is so expensive. All the money and time goes into the preparation. That makes it so expensive. Really? extremely lot of work. I don't suggest to any to do it at home. I will not do this again. I will not play it at home again. I will sell the whole setup. I hope I will sell the whole setup. And I would suggest to anybody to do it at home.